Uh, my name is Jay Duker. Uh, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. My position in Boston is I am the director of the New England Eye Center, and I'm the professor and chair of ophthalmology at the Tufts Medical Center and Tufts University School of Medicine. Oh, that's an interesting question. My background, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There are no doctors in my family. Uh, my father had an MBA. Uh, my mother uh, worked as a social worker. Uh, I was always interested in science as a child and thought I was going to be a physicist at one point until I realized that physics was all about numbers and math, and I was really interested in people. And uh, as a result, in college, I became interested in becoming a doctor. I then did some research in the laboratory of a person who was uh, working on retina uh, in animals. And that really got me excited about the visual system and visual pathways. And when I got to medical school, I happened to go to medical school in Philadelphia at Jefferson Medical College, which is affiliated with the Wills Eye Hospital, which is in one of the top programs in ophthalmology. So I was lucky that my interests really could flourish with my affiliation uh, at, at Wills. What I really like educationally is to teach people things that will help them in their everyday practice. That they can hear something or read something and immediately use it in the practice. Having thousands of references or learning a lot about research that may never pan out isn't, doesn't really help clinicians. What helps them are pieces of knowledge that they can use to make their patients better. And we've really strived in this book to do that, is to really stress clinically useful information. So I'm really glad that we're affiliated with Elsevier because they seem to be at the forefront of the migration from, or should I say expansion, from hardback books to e-books. And we know in the future, uh, internationally, most information is going to be passed electronically. And while there's still going to be a role, I think, in, in, in my lifetime, I hope, for, for, for hardback books, information passes so much quicker and easier uh, via the electronics and, and, and it's gratifying to know that the information that we're collating with this book will be available worldwide electronically. Technology is going to continue to change ophthalmology rapidly in the future. Uh, personalized medicine, the ability to do genetic studies and have other biomarkers for disease and then tailor treatments to individual patients based on genetic susceptibility is going to be extremely important in the near future. And I think we're going to cover that well in the next edition of our book. Surgical techniques continue to improve as the technology improves. The other thing that is rapidly changing is imaging techniques, both in the front of the eye and the back of the eye. When we first did this book, OCT didn't exist, and now we couldn't practice modern ophthalmology without one. Elsevier has been great. They really have. Uh, we started out, oh boy, it's more, way more than 10 years ago on this project, and Myron called me up and invited me to be part of the project. And, uh, we went to London uh, with the Mosby team at the time, uh, who were highly professional and did, thing, did everything first class from the beginning to the end. And all through the three editions and now into the fourth edition, I've been very impressed with the people that Elsevier has as part of their team. It's been a great company to work for. I have worked with other publishers on other projects, and uh, I think Elsevier's the best. I doubt my wife will ever see this, but thanks for everything, Julie. I couldn't have done it without you.